So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. In today's Power BI video I'm going to show you how to create a radial bar chart. I'm, I'm going to show you in two ways. The first way is going to be using Power BI own visuals. This is going to be a lot of work, probably it's not going to perform very well. So if you are able to have custom visuals that you create, I'm going to show you a second method using a tool called Charticulator. It allows you to create your own custom visual and import it with Power BI and it's very, very easy to use once you know how it works. Let me show you. I'll see you again at the end again. Okay, so let me show you the data set. We have the market share for Windows version in December 2019, okay? And we want to display it in a, it's a bar chart, but it has a radial axis. And there is no visualization like that in Power BI, so we need to do it by hand. And using the, the visuals that we have in Power BI is a pain. But again, I'm going to show you anyhow in case you need it. So to use it on a chart, we have the market share. We need to have the total market share. So we're going to create a measure that calculates the rest of the market share, which is 100% minus whatever it is market share there you go so what this does let me show you so you actually see it. so we have here the versions and then so this gives you 65 so the rest is 34 to up to 100 right so we're calculating what's the value up to 100 in order to be able to display it in a donut chart so we're going to use the filters and i'm going to just plot the first three versions because otherwise we will be here until tomorrow so we're going to get version 10, so Windows 10, and plot these as a, um, you can see here, as a radial chart, a donut chart. And um, what we want to do is, first of all, okay. <laughs> Now, so we want to have first the market share and then the rest, right? And the rest, we actually don't want to see it. So if we go to total data colors, uh, we're going to remove versions. We don't want that. And we're going to go to data colors and we're going to put the rest of uh, market share in white. So it just disappears. And as you can see, we cannot get rid of that legend that we don't have that level of detail. So we need to remove the, de the labels, all, all the labels, you know, and then do them by hand later. We're going to remove the title too. We're going to remove the background and the legend. So now we have just a raw donut chart for Windows 10. Now we're going to have copy these three times because we're going to do it for 7, for and for 8, too, and we're going to filter these by Windows 7. So that's the market share for Windows 7 and this is the market share for Windows 8. Okay, so now this is starting to look like a radial chart. Now we're going to put them in there. So this one has to be a lot smaller, something like that. So this one, we want to actually have the shape, the radio, a lot smaller. So it's more or less the same radius as the other one. Otherwise it just look weird. And we're going to send it to the back. So it always stay in the back and then we have these there. Now we need to do it a little bit bigger, something like that. And then we're going to change the color. so. We have like market share, orange, that's perfect. And then we have here the market share for seven, not for eight. And we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to try to fit it in. And these we're going to do the shape a little bit bigger. So something like that. And we're going to paint it like pink. Okay, now, so now we have our radi 
radial bar chart, but it doesn't have any legends. So we need to create the legends by hand. And one, one thing that you can do is you can put markets here and there, and then you can put the versions, and then you can put it as a card, as a multi-card. What is it? There, multi-card. And we're going to format this a little bit. So we're going to get rid of the category and we are going to card tile. We're going to make this a little bigger and then we're going to get the card and then we're going to make the card a little bit bigger too. So, and then we're going to change the part the card to the color. So this is Windows 10 and then we're going to filter these by, uh, sorry, by the version 10, as you can see there. Okay, so now we have the legend for Windows 10. If we copy these, and there, and there. So now we're going to, oh, sorry. We're going to get this one, we're going to get it seven, and we're going to give it the color orange and the color orange in here. And this one we're going to do color pink. Uh, color pink. And uh, this is version eight. And there you have it. This is a radial bar chart, but as you can see, this is not ideal. Number one, it takes a long time to reproduce. Number two, it has six visuals, six elements. And you know that each element that you put on your canvas, it will take time to refresh. So it's a horrible way to do it. But if you need it, this is the way. I wish Microsoft will continue doing the, you know, updating the visualization canvas because it hasn't been updated for quite a long time and it really needs some work. So this is the way. Now, if you are able to import custom visuals into Power BI, then let me show you. I have shown you on my second channel, Kerbal Data Labs, how to create a radial bar chart on Charticulator. Charticulator is a open source software created by Microsoft to create custom visuals without writing any code. So I have used that. I'm going to post a link down below so you can actually go and check it out. And actually you can download this, the chart that I created, so you can use it right away on uh, Kerbal downloads, right? So you go to Charticulator and then you you get Charticulator number two from the download center. Once you've done that, you're going to import it. So you go here, import from a file, and then you get the Charticulator two, which I have already there. So you will see the difference. You Once you imported the radial chart, it is in there. They have made a lot of improvements to Charticulator, actually. I have to make a video update on that on my second channel. But you will see it here. You have the x-axis is going to be the versions. You have the bar length is going to be the market share. And boom, there you have it. And here you have now a lot of options, a lot of options, actually, to um, customize these as you like, you see? So it takes like two seconds and then you have your bar chart radial bar chart ready to go. A lot easier, isn't it? Okay, so how did you enjoy Charticulator? Quite nice. I have an entire playlist with videos on how to create visuals in Charticulator on my second channel. I'm going to link it down below and here on the video that you see on my side. Go and check it out. I will continue posting more Charticulator videos in there. So I will see you again on Friday. Until then, take care. Bye bye.